Short Story 140 The Baker with a Song in His Oven The cobblestone streets of Edinburgh echoed with the rhythmic clanging of metal on metal. But amidst the sounds of the bustling city, a melody unlike any other drifted through the air. A cheerful tune whistled by a man with flower-dusted hands and a heart full of warmth. This was Callum, the baker from the Piping Pie. Known not only for his delectable pastries, but for the captivating songs that wafted from his bakery window every morning. Callum wasn't your average baker. He believed that every loaf of bread, every swirl of cinnamon, held a story waiting to be told. His recipes passed down through generations were more than just instructions. They were woven with memories and tales of his ancestors. His grandfather, a lively Scotsman with a booming voice, filled the bakery with spirited jigs while crafting his signature outcakes. His grandmother, a serene woman with a twinkle in her eye, sang lullabies to rising loaves, imbuing them with a delicate sweetness. Callum, raised on these melodies and stories, found his own voice in the rhythmic kneading of dough and the crackling of the oven. Every morning as the city awoke, Callum began his symphony. With each tap of dough, a note would rise. The whirring of the mixer became a percussion beat, and the sizzling of butter in a pan added a sizzling flourish. It wasn't just the taste of his creations that enticed people, it was the entire experience, the aroma of freshly baked bread mingling with the melody of his song, creating a symphony for the senses. One dreary November morning, a young woman named Isla wandered past the bakery. Lost in a job application rejection letter, her steps were heavy, her heart burdened. Then a sound broke through the fog of her disappointment, a lively tune, as if a bird was trapped inside a warm oven. Intrigued, Isla followed the melody to its source. Through the window she saw Callum, humming merrily as he sprinkled sugar on a tray of golden brown shortbread. The sight, coupled with the warmth emanating from the bakery, drew Isla in. Inside, the air was alive with the aroma of vanilla and cinnamon, and the melody flowed around her like a comforting embrace. Hesitantly, Isla ordered a pastry. Taking a bite, she was met with an explosion of flavours, each one a perfect note in a sweet symphony. But it was more than just the taste, it was the feeling it invoked. In that moment, a flicker of warmth ignited within her, chasing away the dreariness of the day. Thus began a daily ritual for Isla. Each morning she would visit the bakery, drawn by the promise of a delicious pastry and Callum's uplifting melody. The songs changed with the seasons, reflecting the mood of the city. Lively jigs for bustling spring mornings, melancholic ballads for the misty winter, and the heartwarming tunes during festive holidays. Over time, Isla and Callum struck up a friendship, sharing stories and dreams over cups of tea and freshly baked treats. One day as Callum hummed a particularly melancholic tune, Isla learned of his worries. The bakery, a legacy he cherished, was struggling to keep up with the trendy new cafes that were sprouting up around town. Isla, a graphic designer with a knack for storytelling, had an idea. Combining her skills with Callum's unique approach to baking, they transformed the piping pie. They created whimsical flyers that depicted stories behind each pastry linking them to Callum's family history and the songs he sang. They even started hosting live music evenings, with Callum leading the tunes while Isla designed the decorations, 
each one a visual representation of the song's theme. The bakery transformed into a unique haven for the city's creative souls. People came not just for pastries, but for an experience, a taste of history, a melody for the heart, and a place where stories were baked into every bite. Callum, his songs now accompanied by the cheers of an appreciative audience, continued to weave magic with his flour and oven, a testament to the enduring power of tradition and the melody that resided within him. Vocabulary Notes Setting Cobblestone streets Streets paved with small rounded stones common in older European cities. Bustling city A busy and energetic city with a lot of activity. Edinburgh The capital city of Scotland known for its historical buildings and cultural scene. Characters Callum, the main character, a baker known for his delicious pastries and a unique way of singing while he works. Generations Multiple generations of Callum's family who have all contributed to the bakery's history and traditions. Ancestors Callum's grandparents and other relatives from past generations. Lively Scotsman, Callum's grandfather, full of energy and a good singing voice. Serene Woman, Callum's grandmother, calm and peaceful. Isla, a young woman who becomes a regular customer at Callum's bakery and eventually his friend. Food and Baking, Oat Cakes, thin, flat cakes made from oatmeal a traditional Scottish food. Lullabies, soothing songs traditionally sung to young children to help them fall asleep. Cinnamon swirl, a pastry whorl with cinnamon sugar swirled throughout the dough. Shortbread, a crumbly buttery biscuit traditionally from Scotland. Vanilla and cinnamon, sweet spices common, commonly used in baking. Music and Performance Symphony for the Senses A combination of sights, smells and sounds that create a pleasing experience. Jigs Upbeat lively dances in Irish and Scottish folk music. Melancholic Ballads Slow, sad songs that tell a story. Graphic Designer someone who creates visual communication using text and images. Flyers, printed advertisements with information about a product or event. Havens, safe and welcoming places. Story written by Google Bard AI. Image created by Desgo.com AI. Please check out my new blog at www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you take the time to leave a meaningful comment and click on the like icon. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.